Have you heard the shocking news? SpaceX's Mechazilla Tower just pulled off an incredible feat. It successfully caught a gigantic booster from midair. So what will be the reactions from NASA and the FAA? Let's dive into this in today's video. SpaceX has achieved a historic milestone that will be remembered as one of the greatest engineering accomplishments in human history. They successfully caught the Super Heavy Booster, a feat that not only pushes the boundaries of aerospace engineering, but also redefines our capabilities in space exploration. In this video, we will analyze this historic event together, delve deep into the efforts behind the booster catch, explore Elon Musk's groundbreaking vision, and discuss the reactions from organizations like the FAA and NASA to this monumental success. SpaceX's Starship system, which includes Starship 30 and the Super Heavy Booster, B-12, had an impressive flight as it launched at dawn from Boca Chica, Texas, near the Mexico border. The launch occurred early in the morning, following a familiar trajectory, flying over the Gulf of Mexico and soaring into the sky. This is the latest test flight in a series of Starship trials, many of which have ended unsuccessfully, either during launch or upon re-entry into the atmosphere. The most successful launch prior to this in June did not end in an explosion, marking an important step forward. However, this time, Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, decided to raise the stakes significantly. The key difference in this launch was the bold plan to catch the first stage booster after seven minutes of flight. The super heavy booster returned to the launch pad and was captured by the Mechazilla Tower using its giant mechanical arms, aptly named Chopsticks. This ambitious plan was executed flawlessly as the 232-ton, approximately 71-meter booster was gently caught by the tower's arms, marking an unprecedented engineering achievement. Elon Musk wasted no time sharing this joy with the world on social media platform X, formerly Twitter. He wrote, the tower caught the rocket and then posted an impressive photo of the booster nestled between the chopsticks arms with the caption, good morning. He even called for everyone to look toward the future with a grand vision. If civilization remains stable over the next 30 years, a self-sustaining city of over a million people will be built on Mars. What a fantastic and hopeful moment for humanity. Now let's explore the FAA's reaction to this historic event. Charles Bohr, a writer and photographer, asked the FAA whether an investigation was needed regarding SpaceX's fifth test flight. The FAA's response was clear. We have assessed the activities of the Starship Super Heavy mission, flight number five, launched from Boca Chica, Texas, on October 13th, 2024. All flight events for both the Starship and Super Heavy booster were within the planned and approved operational parameters. This means there will be no investigation from the FAA, a piece of good news not just for SpaceX, but also for aerospace technology enthusiasts. Next, let's look at NASA's reaction. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson quickly expressed his appreciation for SpaceX's remarkable achievement. He congratulated SpaceX on successfully catching the booster and completing the fifth Starship test flight. In his message, he emphasized, as we prepare to return to the moon under the Artemis program, these continuous tests will help us get ready for bold future missions, including exploring the moon's South Pole and then Mars. The launch window opened at 7 a.m. local time from SpaceX's Starbase in Boca Chica, and the rocket lifted off precisely at 7.25 a.m. The Starship system, powered by Raptor engines, performed flawlessly, accelerating into orbit and heading towards the waters off the western Indian Ocean near Australia. The Super Heavy Booster separated from the Starship at an altitude of about 74 kilometers and began its landing process back at the launch pad. The decision to attempt the booster catch was made at the last minute. SpaceX's flight director had the authority to decide whether to proceed based on real-time conditions. The landing needed to go perfectly. Any missteps could have resulted in the booster falling into the Gulf of Mexico. The risk of executing such a complex catch was high, but in the end, everything went smoothly. Elon Musk praised this decision, acknowledging the courage required to make that choice at a critical moment. This success is not only a memorable moment for SpaceX, but also a significant step forward for the global aerospace industry. The landing phase of the Super Heavy booster began with 13 Raptor engines igniting in a sequential pattern. This strategy was designed with the engines firing from the inside out, ensuring balance and maintaining control as the booster descended at high speed. The deceleration process was meticulously calibrated, allowing the booster to land vertically and approach the launch pad at the perfect angle for capture. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to do so now. We regularly update information about SpaceX and Space News, and you definitely won't want to miss out. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest news from us. At T plus six minutes and 32 seconds, the booster was almost at a complete stop, just five seconds away from achieving the ideal position for capture. In the final landing phase, only three engines were used, allowing the booster to decelerate in precisely the right configuration. The chopsticks arms from the launch tower extended, reaching out to accurately and carefully catch the descending rocket. Finally, the giant arms safely caught the booster. Jubilation erupted among the SpaceX team as the successful capture marked a leap not just for SpaceX, but for the entire American space industry. However, the risks associated with landing the booster too close to the launch pad caused delays in receiving approval from the FAA. Concerns about the sonic boom created by the booster during landing, potentially affecting nearby communities, had been a bottleneck in previous tests. With this success, SpaceX demonstrated that these concerns were largely unfounded, and the booster was captured safely without any incidents. Despite the spectacular successful landing, it wasn't completely without issues. A small fire broke out near the bottom of the booster immediately after the catch, possibly due to heat generated during the landing or a slight desynchronization in restarting the engines. The flames appeared to originate from the quick disconnect point, where the booster connects to the ground systems for fueling and power supply. Fortunately, the fire was extinguished quickly, causing no serious damage to either the booster or the launch tower. The success of the capture not only showcases SpaceX's technical capabilities, but also opens up many new opportunities for the aerospace industry. Elon Musk announced on Twitter that some of the outer engine nozzles had been slightly bent due to high temperatures and aerodynamic forces. However, he reassured everyone that these issues are easily fixable. Starship is still in the development phase and encountering minor problems is perfectly normal. The successful capture of the super heavy booster marks a significant step toward achieving full reusability, a core element of SpaceX's long-term vision for space travel. To achieve complete reusability, SpaceX needs to conduct more test flights to ensure that the booster can be reused without major repairs. Starship, the largest rocket in the world, promises to become an almost fully reusable vehicle, making space exploration more sustainable and cost-effective. After separating from the booster, the second stage of Starship executed a controlled landing in the Indian Ocean. This stage performed a belly flop maneuver upon re-entry, and despite sustaining some damage, it successfully completed the landing. The second stage was not recovered in this test and exploded after landing. SpaceX has improved its thermal protection system and landing software, allowing for a smoother re-entry process. The goal is to achieve reusability for both stages of the Starship system, moving closer to the concept of full reusability. With this success, Musk envisions a future where Starship rockets can be launched and recovered multiple times in a single day. The road ahead still holds many challenges, but today's success brings us closer to Elon Musk's vision of establishing a human presence on Mars. Before achieving this, Starship will need to play a crucial role in NASA's Artemis program, aimed at returning astronauts to the moon. Today's achievement has placed SpaceX on the right path to reach these milestones.